Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Ferd. Uh, real quick, before this video starts, I just wanted to give y'all an update um, uh, about my absence. Uh, basically, I had surgery earlier this year, back in January, on my right shoulder, so I can't really lift it too much or do anything like that. That's why I wasn't able to really edit or even make new videos or anything like that. But real quick, I still got the Beamer, as you guys can see. Um, this video you guys are about to watch is actually was pre-recorded back in uh, the ending of last year when I dropped off my motor to get built and stuff like that. So um, that's what you guys are about to watch. But yeah, I'm still working on it. The shoulder's getting better. Um, I could raise it a little bit, not too much though, but more videos is coming up. Yo, be careful pushing my teams, man. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna take this fucking hole from back What's up, everybody? It's your boy M3 Fur, and today we got a real good, good video. As you can see, Fabe up there on top of the dolly, on top of the uh, dually truck. Richie right there. That right there is my motor. We just loaded it up on the truck. We about to go out to LA. We about to go check. Uh, another Beamer guy, some of y'all might know him. Race Motors, four door champ. On the gram, his name is Francis Von Louis. On the gram. On the gram. But. Also known as. Best. Uh, also known as Frank. That's my real name. Yeah, so we about to go I check Frank. He got probably one of the fastest E36s out here. It's a uh, four-door, I believe it's like a 95, a four-door E36. Red Hellrod. Shit is fast as fuck. But we about to go check him. He's going to take a look at my motor. Hopefully, he can uh, degree my cat cams that I bought for it into this motor. All right, guys. So we got the motor. We got my motor over here strapped up. I got some new lifters for the cams. The cams are in the back of the truck. Uh, we just putting some air in the tire real quick because they had like, it was going the air. So we're putting air in it real quick. Yo, Got here with Frank, about to walk inside the shop. Word. Have to get my other camera. I'm sure you guys some cool footage, but as soon as you walk in, what you see? This car was built somewhere else, and then he brought it to me so I can clean up the engine bay. This is powder coating around the down pipe, you know, clean up some wiring. I still got a few things left to do on this, but so yeah. Yeah, I got a guy that does the, the OBD-1 valve covers real nice. Because they're magnesium, they're very hard to powder coat properly. Yeah. So he charges, he charges 200 to do a valve cover, which is a lot for a valve cover, but it, dude, it comes it's out. Worth it. It's worth yeah. it. It comes out very good and it's durable. Like I, you know, I have the, he powder coated mine also and I, I put a lot through it and it, you know, it's, yeah, he did he did that on his own, but uh, it's a nice little setup. And then I had the detailer next door uh, go over the car around there, so I always like to deliver a clean car, you know. Of course. <laughs> I think I might know this car. Maybe. I think I might he's from yeah, the Bronx? Yes, from the Bronx, yeah. Oh I definitely I definitely know this car. Well, that's crazy. That's crazy as far as hell. Than it used to, oh, right? that's my first time seeing it in person. I only seen it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. On the gram. I, I, I did a, I did a real thorough cleanup in the engine room. Oh nah, shit looking nice. I just realized who car this is. I actually, I actually follow the owner of this car on the gram. It's crazy how running. It's crazy how the world looks. But look at this shop though. Oh, 
This one should do like it should do like 740, 750 wheel reliably on pump ethanol. You things come fast already, so yeah, these right. things are quick from factory. Yeah. Well, the M2 Comp is fast from factory because it has the that has the F80 drivetrain. Yeah, so that's the F80 motor. The other ones, yeah, the comp, these, these come the with M2 Comp. The turbo's much smaller. These these only come with like 350 or 400 horse, whatever that is. So. Motor. I did all eBay shit. And the car made like 550, 600 wheel. And On the 230 motor? No, no, no. I took that out. I put an iron block in. Oh, but okay. I put like eBay rods, CX Racing rods, stock pistons, <laughs> all this shit. Yo. Matter of fact, yes, everything. yes, yes, yes. That's what I call yeah, it. I'm like, eBay yo. Everything. He's the eBay, eBay guru. Way, eBay wasteskate, eBay blow up out, everything. Yeah, that's and why everybody was like, yo, he's the eBay guru. Yo, that right? car worked, bro. Made, that car worked. It so made, much power it on made, eBay. It made too. like 550, 600 wheel. And I was like, all right, this is good. And then uh, <laughs> and then I wanted I wanted to go top mount. So I, but I, I didn't like the rods. I was like, this just kind of cooked. So I, I put a stock M52 in it, head gasket. But I, I stayed stock impression, so it was like ten and a half to one because mm -hmm. I decked the head twice and I decked the block. Put that shit together, it made that made seven twenty wheel on stock motor. But it did not. It lit. It, it might have lived like half a season. It was like it was like half a year to a full year of me beating the hell out of the he car. He blew that yeah. shit. I remember. Yo, that. and then I blew the hell out of that, and then I was like, all right, well, this M fifty two held seven hundred wheel for so long. It was like seven twenty wheel on the Urkel mm -hmm. sign, which everybody knew it read low. The e spec dyno that was over yeah. there. Everybody knew where it kind of looks. I was like, all right, I'm just going to throw another stock block in it. I threw another stock block in it. At 600 wheels, that one blew up. So, oh, yeah. This don't make no sense. Too. Then I realized, I was like, wait a second. These are all, like, you know, all these, all these motors are almost 20 years old. I was at the point where I was like, you know what? Not every single one, not every single one was treated the same. Not every True. single one had, like, oil changes every th this is the many thousand miles. Had, you know, had, like, this service. The bearings are in good condition, all this. All those things add up. You can have a junkyard motor that'll do crazy yeah. power, yeah. and you can have a junkyard motor that is literally dog shit. <laughs> and you know, the best motor I ever had, I actually bought it from Jordan from RK. That was the one that made 720. That was an M52 that was in Sandy. Bro, that Damn, motor man. was the rustiest piece of shit you've ever seen in your life. And that motor was in Sandy in his house because he lived in Long Beach. Yeah, they got yeah. wrecked over there. Yeah. Say when Sandy had more water was to here on the sheet right. rock. Yeah. Everybody's house was wrecked. They had to lift every single house. And he was like, yo, bro, you want this motor? He's like, yo, take it. I was like, he's like, it's rusty, probably whatever. I, was like, I took that shit home and I was like, it's just going in the car. Yeah, and it made that power and he was like, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. <laughs> and that was it. That was like one of the highest horsepower stock. Sandy motors, motor, Sandy. And that was it. Sandy so, motor. Yeah. Sandy motor. Sandy motor. Sandy motor. So what happened to you? Uh, well, so you done with the quest yeah, of all-wheel drive? Still still cool. I got, I have everything for the all-wheel drive. I got to finish it up. Um, but uh, my issue is that I have to chop the, How? I got to cut the floor a little bit. To here, fit here, the here's my thing. You, you're using uh, E46 front? Mm, I'm using E46 front subframe. Okay. I got an X5M front diff, E46 subframe. E46 oil pan. X5M? Yeah. That's crazy. I heard you say that. I'm like, what? Oh, that's what it's I the did. same size as the E46 one. But the ratio is what I needed for my car to, to max the ratio to the rear. Oh, wow. So, I didn't even know that. You be doing some research. But the, tra right? but the tranny, though, I use a T56 Magnum. Yeah, I know so you got a I was, I was converting. I was converting the T56 Magnum to four-wheel drive using a four-transfer case. How do you so, do that? Mad custom shit that it ended up ended up not happening. Because I see you had some cut. shit lined up. Yeah, I had head. everything lined up, like and a, I had, but the problem was I had to cut the floor of the car. Oh man, I didn't have the time to finish cutting the floor in the car. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just put the car back together, rear wheel drive, enjoy it, whatever, and see what I do. And then I ended up opening up a shop, and I was like, you know what, I don't really have the time to be working on it again. But I still have all the parts, so maybe one day I'll get back on it. But for that now, rear wheel drive. The car hooks second gear. Cause you at see, like, um, like now the just. Miss Miss Jeanette, yeah, you know? yeah. I've been talking to that guy a lot. E thirty with the E30 yeah. He got a DCT. He has a DCT, DCT all wheel drive. All wheel drive. Yeah. His car makes like seven hundred. That car is crazy. But the problem is, is like when he turns his car up, he breaks the drive line. The the training just does not oh, like it. The problem is that it's like the training, the VW trains, they were never meant to handle that much torque. Yeah. You know, like you can you can throw it at it, but from a dig is not gonna like it. 
you know, you gotta go to you gotta go to Chris Miller to get a pure drive train solution. You know, uh, ZF8. Yeah, Chris you know, his transmission, dude. The transmission's ten grand. What it's ten thousand for a transmission. What a pure drive train. Yeah, pure drive train solution. The, no, no, the ZF, the ZF8, not the CT. The the three forty train, the oval drive, the oval drive, and the super training. Wait, so you could put those in, um, how, how much torque done for? What, the training? Yeah. How much torque? Well, built from him, they, they're, he's rated at 1,000. But dude, the, the, the build training is 10 grand. Like, yeah. Yeah. my T56 swap was 7,000, but it's manual. You know, the training alone is 3,200 from, like, brand new from, from oh, training. Oh, that's not, that's not bad. But the problem is, is that you need a clutch that's like 1,800 to 2,000 bucks. Yeah. You need a custom drive shaft that's like, like a tilt or something? Yeah, I use, a, I use a quarter mass, a triple disc. That's like okay. all custom. No, I didn't even know what shop was like this, bro. Oh my God. The cam broke. We had an oil pump failure and one of the cams broke. Okay. That's what originally made this tick down. Okay. So you swept the crank already? Yeah, no, the crank, nothing, nothing happened to me. Right. When, so, you got to inspect the bearings, 100%, because if you have an oil pump failure and then the camshaft to break, that means you had oil starvation in the camshaft. Yeah, so, if you'd have oil starvation up here, I the first place where you had oil starvation is in the crankshaft. Yeah, for sure. So, well, look, that's, that's here, where you here, here, was the, here was the thing. We did a little put back together. Since you said that now, I wouldn't even want to... Now that I have it in your hands, I'd rather you just go through the whole thing and then you just start pressuring it. Got it, okay. So this was it after it was already to put that together? Yeah, okay. yeah, but, yeah, I got a fresh head. I see, it's clean, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, no, it's still stock valves. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Yeah, we have more than the cat 275 here. Another right. thing, um, I don't know, man. I was doing some moving. I misplaced the, the cam tricks. Okay. I do have so trays, okay. but I can bring them. We gotta, we gotta check. I think, we gotta check this depending on yeah. which cats you have. Sometimes they don't fit in OBD one trays. OBD two trays accept all the all the cans. Okay. But the problem is that the OBD two lifters are starting to get hard to get because a lot of people are using the solid lift conversion. So like I just I do the solid lift conversion with the OBD two cam trays. This one is it? It's a three point two. It's it's a three point two. Yeah. Okay. I mean, at that point, you can stay hydraulic because you can't really rev it over 7200 anyway, you know? So we can keep that. I'm going with your best recommendation. These are brand new in box. Yeah, I need papers. No worries. Okay. You got it planned. I got my lifters right here, too. Lifters are here. You're just missing the trays. Yeah. Okay. The problem with the trays is like the caps gotta match the trays too. So I got some yes. trays, but I don't have proper that's, caps for them. That was my thing. So I do have some trays, and I don't. This is brand new. Oh yeah. You were trying, to, you were trying to put one motor in the car and never had to take it apart again, right? Yeah, was, I All mean, right. you know how it goes. But now, Eventually so what? What's the turbo right? setup you got? That we went with a you know um, K64 Performance manifold. Okay. But um, I never turbo. Heard of it, but. That's one. Uh, he was showing pictures, I'm sure, of it, whatever. Polish guys. I don't know, but think it, what, what I know one of the guys sure. from Poland. I had a. It was a C was Garage sure. manifold. That's what I had before. That was one of the guys out in Poland. He was making it for a while. That was probably like 10 or 12 years ago. Maybe he changed. I don't know. Maybe he changed names. Right knows. now, this guy's making some crazy man. I found it off of like the, the Swedish guys. Like, okay. You know, the Swedish guys. Yeah. Um, he already had ordered the manifold, so definitely when he lands, I'll send you some pictures over. Turbo, we haven't made a choice yet on turbo. Okay. Um, What's your power goal? I know the 3.2 is a little funny, so... It, what you it'll do whatever you can throw at it. The problem is, depending on what rods you got. It's stock. It's a stock bottom gun. Okay. Only rebuild the head. So, um... These cams are really aggressive for a stock bottom end car. That's why I hear yeah. So, well, I gotta see. When I pull apart the block, I gotta see what's up with the pistons anyway. Sometimes if, if the bearings do get cooked, you're gonna have an issue where you might have you might have made the uh, the whole the journal for the rod a little bit larger because if it if it starts to spin a bearing down there the, the, the rod the rod ends up getting over you know it starts getting overheated and uh, you'll have like discoloration on the rod. If you have discoloration on the rod, you guys change the rod. Okay. I 
I'd be comfortable. What kind of field do you run? 93? Or 85? We run, run 93. 93. I'll, I'll do a flex field so that. Yeah, I mean, if you go if you go straight 85, that'd be best. But if I if we did a if we did a stock piston setup with rods in these cans, I mean, you could do 750, 800 on 85. You know, on race day, you don't want to run like that all the time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. on race day, you'd be fine. And then keep it down to like 17, like 17 pounds on 93. What you think in the um, bottom end of course? Depends on how crazy. Like the rods that I was saying, if you throw eagles at it, you know the, the rods are like 500, 500, 500, 520 bucks, and they handle some power. But if you wanted to do like, if you want to make a motor that will do a thousand on the tire, I uh, mean we ain't doing a thousand at the tire just yet because this yeah. is the first merry go round. We still got things to do. Got it. Got it. So. I'll go sometimes, with sometimes better overbuild it, but um, I want to. I want to look at I, I it. I am and definitely I, with that. I want to look at it and then be that. like, all right, guys, let's do. They, like these are your options. You can either do put it back together like this. You can throw some rods at it. You can throw a rod piston setup. Even a piston rod setup on a 3.2, you're maxed at about 750-800 because the bore. So when you go 86.5, the the cylinder walls are thin. So. Like for you to go on and build a thousand horsepower body, maybe we gotta go with a with a two point eight block. But we use that crank, so we use that crank with two point eight block, and then we use a custom piston for it. So. That's in a race for one stop. What? Well, where he jumped the shit out of me? Uh -huh. I mean, he jumped the shit out of yo, me. Yo, because I'm like, yo, I keep telling, I'm like, yo, look, man. Red Bull got, before you guys was even racing, it was supposed to, it was like a big debate about it. And like, yeah, they were talking about live. I know him and Reed from whatever. I'm like, nah, man. You know, I root for my old cars, man. Yeah, old you know what it is? Old cars got Yeah, Yo, you go to those events, you go to those events, and when you go constantly, you can see, like, they, 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 Ma and I are the start. They try to speed the start and they try to speed the end. So, my entry was 52 mile an hour. And his was 67. Uh, so like he jumped the shit out of the start, but he went, he left at 67 and he came out at 160 or 159. Uh, and I came out at 50, at like 54, 57. I came out at, uh, it was like 171, 169, around there. So it was like, I out trapped the shit out of you. And if, if we would have kept going, like I would have, I would have ran your ass down, you know, but. It's when you got like a four or five car lead, what are you gonna do? Containers, stock valves. Um, the oil pump. So what happened? Like the nut spun off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you put a, a new oil pump on or another used one on. Another used one. Another okay. used but one. But you yeah. haven't put it back in the car yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh. Cool. But this car it spun that and then it cracked the cam. It cracked the cam. Okay. It cracked the cam in half. And you got a completely different cylinder head too, yeah. from what I see. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So. And the oil pump that's in there now, did you weld it or did you do safety wire? Yeah, safety, safety wire. wire. Yeah. Okay. I like welding them. If you want to do the safety wire, that's fine. But if I got to pull it off anyway, I like to, I like to weld them. Yeah, I like to weld them because the safety wire is safety wire is good. But I've, I've ran stock welded pumps on my car. So, and I, I ran mine to 8,200 RPM. So, I mean, like, I, but I hit the limit. Like, yo, you see that car is running 8,200 RPM all day. I'll tell my customers, yo, you can go to like 76, 77. I don't really... You know, like I know if I know the limit is 8,200 for an entire season, I could be like, all right, these things will live forever at like 75, 76 with an yeah. M52 crank. S52 crank, you're kind of limited to like 72, 7,300 yeah. because the stroke is so much longer. The harmonics at at that speed at 8,200 RPM, the fucking the the thing's like a noodle. Sure. You know, the the crankshaft is like is vibrating like crazy. It, it ends up it ends up to yeah, bending a lot. Open there, so. Yeah, so so I'm gonna check out the. The oil pump should be fine, but I like to always remove, I like to take them apart and inspect the gears and all that. So, inspect crankshaft. What head gasket is on it? Um, What's the name of that? Uh, cut ring? Cut ring, yeah. yeah. It has the copper spacer or no? No. No? Let me cut off the spacer. Um, CS. Yeah, yeah CS motorsports. Head gasket. That's what it's on there. ARP head studs. Cap 
275, right? Yeah, 275. And stop. Um, for turbos, I get a discount on Boost Lab turbos. That's what I run on my car. Boost Lab? Boost Lab. They're in Florida. Oh, Boost Lab. Yeah, they service, uh, they service Precision Turbos, Gary Turbos. Like, if you I have... Boost Lab, you Yeah. Probably. I get a discount on them there. So, if you guys want to... If you look at turbos on that site, shoot me a message. I'll let you know, you know, depending on, like, your power what goals you, and what, the displacement. What, that's, that's what we was about to get to. The turbo, I know you were asking yeah. me, yeah. It depends. It depends on you know. It depends on what you want to like, do. As I said, we we we'll, we'll mess with the seven fifty eight hundred range. So um, the yeah. the sixty. So the their their sixty eight millimeter turbo is pretty much comparable to a precision sixty eight seventy. That turbo will max out like around nine hundred nine twenty at the tire, but it should be comfortable in that yeah, range. You can do a sixty four sixty six or a Boost Lab sixty four R. Yeah. But the issue is, is that you'd be running the turbo at its limit. At its limit. That's so, why I was thinking the 64, but... Yeah, the 64 right. works, but I feel like if you're going to run the turbo at its, at its limit, limit... That's not good. It's not. It's not good. If you're not going to run it at its limit all the time, then you could be like, all right, you know, we could keep that 64 and be all right. It's splitting hairs. What we'll do is... The other thing also is that you have an S52. That's, that thing is going to spool like... Like water. They, especially with the cams, they spool so much harder than 2.8. Mm. You know, so when it comes down to it, um, you might be better off with a little bigger turbo to yeah, try to, to, just to cut, because just some boost lag yeah you want a little bit of lag to help with the clutch because now the problem is 7800 you need a completely different clutch mm -hmm. you have to rebuild the differential you're going to need a drive shaft you know it gets to the point where you're like damn it's like yo the motor so motor's built yeah. cars, you know so. you end up being like yo i'm eight grand in the motor motor's ready to rock and then you go now everything oh. else behind is gonna break yeah the motor's okay but damn every time you pull out the car break an axle <laughs> You break a diff. That's the main thing more about breaking axles. Yeah, the axles are hard. You're hard. They're hard to find axles right now. I I wouldn't be worried about axles because I ran, I ran stock axles in my car to like eleven hundred. I got um I got G force in the car now, but the axles are heavy. Dude, the new axles I got they're like thirty five pounds each side, an axle. Damn, dude, axles heavy. They what it uses thirty five pounds a side, bro. That's yeah, a truck axle. Dude, truck the mix. axle is insane. It's a it, yo. I had to cut so much of the of the uh. So much of the Suffering. of the of the spring perch out, the, the, like so you got oh, okay. you have the um, lower control arm, you got the upper control arm, the upper control arm on the rear of the thirty six. I had to cut a lot of it out because the axle goes right underneath it, and it's just so much bigger. It actually it uses a Porsche it uses a Porsche nine thirty. It's basically a two Porsche nine thirty axles with billet adapters on the ends. Because those are the strongest axles that anybody runs are the Porsche 930 axles. That's crazy. Okay. Like those cars, they're running like 17, they're running like 1700 wheel all wheel drive in those cars. So, like, yeah. they rate them to 2000 in rear, in rear wheel drive applications. That. Oh, yeah. So, um, it's good to know. And we'll sell you <laughs> That's yeah. good to know. They're, they're a little got, pricey. I, I think know we got to get there. I think that's, I I'll think just, they're pricey. But, dude, when you get to that point, gonna, you need a, you need, so you need either a large case more. diff. Like, you're going to have to go either yeah, large case diff. Or yeah, you, or you, you, you still have stock diff or no? You still got a stock yeah. diff. So, you're either going to go 7 Series or if you're going to buy actors at the same time and a drive shaft, you can go Ford 8.8. So, 22, Ford? 22 Ford. RPD sells the Ford, sells the Ford 8.8. Uh, rear subframe. And if you could use that still with the ZF gearbox and all that stuff. Yeah, if you get it, you, you'd have to and get the Ford it. Ford uh, 8.8 is cheaper. It's cheaper than a than so a large case. Series. But the the, mm -hmm. the the subframe, the subframe for the Ford 8.8 is priced. The subframe, I think, is like he charges like seventeen hundred or something like that for the subframe. Who who sells the subframe? Twenty two RPD. That guy's Zach in Florida. No, we trying to fuck up the streets, man. Yeah. You know. The solid lift conversion is nice, but I feel like you'd be fine. I mean, I don't recommend doing the solid lift conversion until you're like. Until we up, uh, you got the up again. I more. feel like until you're like really trying to shoot for like 750, 800, um, and then you're trying to go for like 7600. Yeah. Most of the things now that we need to acquire for the car, mm -hmm. when it's second going on, we could definitely turn it up. Yeah. Like I said, we'll I'll, I'll size up. I'll help you size up the turbo and stuff. I'll get you a price on the turbo. Oh, um, they normally give me. I think I think I get like between ten and twelve percent off depending on the turbo. Okay. So you know anything else? Definitely. Yeah, always. You guys any questions for me? Well, at this point.
Like I said, probably either Monday, Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, I'll, uh, Monday, I'll get it apart. I'll tell you, like, 6'5"? 6'4". 6'4"? Yeah. 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 Because I'm like, I'm like, I'm six, three, six, three, 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 like dope as fuck. I didn't know I was gonna run into that. Uh, he's taller as shit, taller than me. I'm six two. He's taller than me. He's fucking six five. I was like, what the hell? But um, not too many car guys are tall for some odd reason. But um, yeah, he said he's gonna look over the bearings. Uh, we're gonna talk to him about getting my turbo. I haven't decided the size yet, but we do have an idea what size I'm gonna go with. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get that looked up. Hopefully, I get my motor back soon. I actually ordered my turbo manifold. That's on the way. All the way coming from Poland from um, K64 Performance. So hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It's your boy M3 Ferg. Appreciate you guys for watching.